Hello, this is Pete Cospin, the Angel Encourager. How are you doing tonight? This is Pete Cospin, the Angel Encourager. Thank you so much for connecting with me tonight. I wanted to talk about the secret power of joy. So what do I mean by that? What I mean by that is when you are in joy, hi, how you doing there? It's so nice to meet you. What I mean by that is joy is when you truly get connected to universal mindset. Now, what do I mean by that? I keep bringing up all these new things. <laughs> so universal mindset is the way I describe where, hey, how you doing, sweetheart, is how I describe where the angelic realm or the heavenly realm or God or Jesus or however you connect with all that is or universal power, that is the vibration of the frequency where they rest in, is always in a state of joy. So there's a secret power to joy. Hi, how you doing, Mighty Motes? It's so nice to meet you. So, so thankful for you joining me. Uh, just so you know, I'm Pete Cospin, the Angel Encourager, and we're talking about the secret power of joy. Oh, thank you so much. Nice to hear and see you again, too. Thank you so much for joining me. Yes, absolutely. So uh, I'm really kind of going through, I'm using y'all sort of like as a test market because I have a, a new series of seven webinars that I'm coming out on finding your personal paradise. And the first one this coming Thursday is on joy and appreciation. So I'm really very, very excited about it. If you want to know more about it, you can go to facebook.com, The Angel Encourager, that's me. And you can find you know, how to connect with it. You can also get onto my free newsletter, which I would absolutely adore if everybody did that. Oh, hey, how you doing? So what I really want to talk about, I really want to kind of connect with you. And if, I, if I'm looking over here, I'll be, I'll be looking at some of my notes because I'm just kind of using y'all, like I say, it's sort of like guinea pigs as a test market to see, you know, how it sounds and how it looks and, and how y'all respond to it and if, if it resonates or not. So joy is the vibration in which God, the universe, you know, uh, Jesus, Buddha, Allah, however, however you think of your, you know, of your, however you, you connect with, with spirit. Uh, that's the reson that's the vibration or the frequency that they, that they actually resonate in. So when you're in that vibration of joy, they're all that's also the same resonation or the same uh, vibration that uh, transition souls are in. So so many times, like you know, when you've lost a loved one, you know, and you're really sad and you're missing them, you know, you're really in that state of of lack and really missing them. Well. When people transition over, you know, they, they step back into all that is and they go back into that vibration of joy. So it's when you're in those times of joy that you really connect. You know, if, if for anybody that's ever felt the presence of someone that they've loved that's transitioned over, they didn't ever really feel the transition of them when they were feeling in, you know, a, a bad space. But it was when they were focused on something else usually or they were, you know, kind of either in a, in a not very mindful state or they were just kind of feeling relaxed or they were in a joyful state and they started really feeling the, resonate, the, the resonance of those people that have transitioned. It's because it's in that, hi, Fairy Cake, and I'm sorry if anybody else I have not said hi to. Thank you, thank you so much for everybody joining with me tonight. It's in that state of joy when you really connect you know, with those transition souls that have crossed over, or the angelic realm, or the heavenly realm, or any of those higher powers, it's, that's where it is. So how do you step into joy? That's what everybody always asks me. So I want you to think about it as sort of like a, a way of like stepping, stepping, stoning your way up. Almost think of it as sort of like a cliff. And what you want to do is you just want to go to that next higher feeling. Kind of make that your new set point and then go to the next higher feeling. Make that your set point. Don't try to do everything all at once. I mean, when, when you're trying to do everything all at once, you can think of it as like if you're really in depression, it's like a speeding train going down this way. If you try to take that train and immediately turn it the other way, you can tell it's immediately going to get derailed. Everybody inside is going to have a really rotten time. So what you want to do is you want to kind of just slow it down and then slowly turn it around and get it going back the other way. So what do I mean by that? I mean like if, say if you're in depression, when you're in depression, whether you know it or not, anger actually feels better because anger gives you, steps you back into a point of power. And then when you're in anger, usually frustration feels a little bit better. So I know, I know when you're right now and if you're in a happy state, frustration doesn't sound like a great space. But if you're in anger, frustration actually feels better. So you can, you can kind of step yourself up to that. When you're in frustration, usually you can get yourself up into hope. And then when you're in hope and see in any, each one of those stages, you just want to kind of make that your set point to where it no longer feels good. And then when it no longer feels good, then you want to start reaching for that next better, that next better feeling. And once you just kind of get into the habit of doing that, you know, so much of it about it is about habit. Once you get into the habit of doing that, you are in this, oh, thank you so much. You pretty, you like that? Really? I appreciate that. And I know it's kind of looking kind of crazy 
right there. But yeah, the ladies always love pink. Ladies, that, am I not telling the truth? Ladies always love guys that wear pink. And this is really, it's something I haven't really ever worn a lot yet. See, I knew, I knew you did. <laughs> So thank you so much. Yeah, I know it's so funny. Not, and, and, and so, so oh, thank you so much. But so many dudes don't really know how ladies really love men that wear pink. So I thought I, I knew y'all would really <laughs> have a good day today. And I've gotten lots and lots of compliments on my tie today. So thank you so much. <laughs> I think that's great. <laughs> So yeah, it's about it's about you know set, setting those set points, you know, and kind of stepping your way up there. Because if you really start thinking about it, you know, do you spend more time thinking about the problem or the solution? You know, if you're in a space where you're not really feeling good, and that's perfectly human, and it's almost the way we've been kind of raised. We've been raised to think that you know it's up to our action, it's up to our effort, you know, to fix problems. You know, and, and it, how many problems have you fixed by worrying about them? To be honest with you, usually what happens is you you're desperate, you're worrying about something, and then you finally fall asleep and you relax, and then you usually wake up the next morning, you're like, oh. That's what I do about this situation, you know what I mean? Or you find somebody that's in a better mood, and then they usually have an idea that helps you out. It's never in that feeling of frustration, never in that feeling of, of lack and, and anger and depression or anything like that, that you really ever find, you know, a real solution that ever works. You know, any solution that you ever find, you know, when you're not feeling good, and you know exactly what I mean, because, I mean, I know I've had the experiences, and I'm sure some of y'all have had the experience, too, that when you when you make decisions from that state of, that that, that set point, it usually doesn't turn out all that well. So, you know, if you're in a space where you're feeling, you know, anger, or depression, or just not good, and you need to make a decision, so many times we get kind of desperate and we think, I gotta make a decision right now. But usually you can kind of put off some decisions. So if there's an important decision that you need to make and you're not feeling well, it's really great, if possible, to be able to put that situation aside, to be able to put that decision aside, get yourself into a better state of being, you know, be able to start connecting more with, with however you, you connect spiritually, however that is, and that's going to automatically happen as you get into a better state of mind. And then you're going to be more out of your own headspace. Uh, do you get messages from your ancestors? Um, not really, to be honest with you. Sometimes I get messages from transition souls, uh, but it doesn't very frequently happen to me. For the most part, I connect with the angelic realm. I know I have friends that do, you know, a lot of like the Akashic readings and, and things with the ancestors. Um, mine's more, I, I really work more about where you are right now at this point. So I, I don't even really call myself a psychic. So many people want to know about the future. And to me, you know, you can only tell what's going to happen in the future from the space that you are now. And that can change in any moment. So, you know, what your future is going to be like at this moment is probably going to be a little bit different from the situation that your future is going to be like in this moment. So, you know, I really deal with the right now. That's where, that's where I am and that's where the angelic realm, that's where the heavenly realm, you know, really works from is in the state of, of right now. Because right now is all you have, you know, this very moment. I, I call myself an angelic intu intuitive medium. Uh, I also call myself the angel encourager because what I tend to do, and that's just what I do for, you know, so many people, I, I say knowing who you are and calling you forth. And it's just all about being able to see, you know, the true being that you are, the true wonderful, fabulous being you are, and being able to show you all the opportunities and the, and the abilities that you have and the energies that are surrounding you, you know, that, that are there to help you and love you and carry you forth and, and guide you and, and create paths for you. And it's not about your effort. It's not about your pushing action. It's about you just stepping into that faith. It's about taking that inspired action. It's about, you know, stepping into joy. It's about, you know, being the truly connected you know, being that you are and realizing that your your time here on earth is about expansion and that's just just from the very state of your very being you know it causes the expansion of the universe and it's about you just enjoying this life i mean because look at all the beautiful things that are in this world and how in the world could a could a could a precious god have created all this if it was not for us to enjoy and that's you know so we always think it's it's all about this striving and everything and then when you really kind of get down to the point of where striving is it's about us trying to keep up with the joneses it's about us evaluating ourselves compared to you know our friends or our family or, or whoever people that we see on tv you know but it's not about you know do you have the biggest house or do you have the finest car or do you have the most money in your checking account it's about do you experience happiness you know do you experience joy you know do you have peace and tranquility do you have friends and family that love you you know that's where you know that's where everything that you ever have desired you've desired because you thought it would make you feel better 
So why don't you go from the point of where you're just wanting to make yourself feel better, you know what I mean, in every step of the way, because God has really created for us, or all that is the universe, however you think of it, has created these magnificent bodies for us to live in that tell us in every moment, they, they completely monitor us, uh, and then move into unstable mental states. Uh, I'll talk about that in just a, a second here, Twiggy, but I just want to make sure that you know that we have these you know, fabulous you know, mechanisms that really let us know, you know, um, where we are at each stage, whether we feel good or bad, you know, whether we're, we're heading in the right direction or the wrong direction. Uh, your sister experienced uh, seeing angels and then she moved into an unstable state. Hi, sweetheart. How you doing, Miss Inventress? It's so nice to see you. So it's really about which energies you know you connect with. You know, as long as you connect with energies that are from light and love, you know, you're going to be fine. Uh, now, of course, there are some people you know that have electro or, or chemical you know issues in their brain. That's you know totally something that I, I completely understand. I am very medical friendly. So, you know, I, I totally believe that, you know, if, if there's, for, for me, the way I look at it is a lot of times the medical field or even the psychological field is simply a way for us to wrap our brains around health. Uh, I would absolutely, though, call forth Archangel Raphael, who's the Archangel of Healing, you know, and, and, and swathe your sister in that. I'm, I'm just kind of imagining, I don't have, without her permission, I can't do too much, but I can still surround her, you know, struggle with depression most of my life. And we'll talk about that, sweetie. We absolutely will, because I have too. You know, before I went through my, I was such a, you, you know, if you if you met me two years ago, you wouldn't know who I was. I was this complete spirit of of fear and depression and anxiety and worry, and they had me on every kind of pill. And they told me I was this and that and something else, and I have been off all that stuff and you know no longer drink and and I used to be an alcoholic and so girl, I've been there, been there, done that, you know and. I always knew that year 50 was going to be my game changer and I didn't know why, but then I found out because that's really where my spiritual walk just went like, boom. And it's, I'm, I'm telling you, sweetie, when you start living and when you start just, just working toward stepping into joy, that is where it happens. And so last year was my year of faith. And what I mean by that, last year was the year that every time I got an intuition in, in love to do something, I did it. I didn't ask, do I have the money? Do I have the knowledge? Do I have the resources? Do I know what I'm doing? I just did it. And this year has been my year of joy, which where it just in every moment I step into a state of joy in the best that I can. That does not mean that I'm always, you know, happy zippy, though I per pretty much always am. I mean, there are, there are moments when I, you know, I'm a human being, but I step into the best state of joy that I can in every single moment. And now I've created my set point to where it's pretty high and I'm in a pretty high state most of the time. So if you're, if you're in depression, usually, you know, depression is usually uh, anger that you've turned inside. And so one, the, the best way to kind of get over that is number one, to uh, find a way to express that. Uh, if you want to message me on facebook.com, the angel encourager, um, I actually have some methods. I have some videos that I've done uh, that could help you. I'd be happy to pass those along to you. Uh, be more than happy. There's some different techniques like Ho'oponopono and what I call a cathartic letter writing uh, and different things that can help you. Uh, that's, yeah, as far as what being depressed or what, sweetie? I'm not sure what you mean by that. Oh, is the intention to be joyful? I'm not sure which one, which comment you're, you're <laughs> commenting on. Am I on YouTube? Uh, I do have some YouTube videos on there. Um, let's see, it's, it's under, I believe it's under, if you, t if you search for the angel encourager, oh, joyful, absolutely, it is an intent, you're right, and it is. You know, so much of life is about the intention, the decision. It's about, first of all, it's about a decision. So like if you're in depression, the first thing to say is, I'm going to make the intention. I'm going to make the de decision. You just de deactivate my Facebook. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, well, if you want to, you can also connect with me at theangelencourager at gmail.com if that helps you add any. You know, I'll, I'll you know, certainly be helped. You can find me at petecasaboon.com, but my website looks really awful. I'm getting it redesigned, so I'm kind of embarrassed by it. <laughs> So, but if you want to go to theangelencourager at gmail.com, you can absolutely email me there. And I'm, you, know, you can, there's, I'm not sure if anybody's here right now that has done it, but a lot of people have messaged me on Facebook and I absolutely get back to you. You know, I'm here just to help in any way I can. I know that as I, as I give out, um, as I give out value, it comes back to me. I don't worry about how it comes back to me. I just know as I give out value to the universe, you know, and love out to the universe, it just comes back to me, and that is so true. I've just been so blessed. I, I tell people that I'm the 
I'm the wealthiest, luckiest man that I know because that, that's absolutely, oh, yes, thank you, Dulitz. I knew somebody was probably on here that I'd responded to. So, <laughs> and like I say, Facebook is the best way. You're the angel curger, but if you're not on Facebook, and I understand a lot of people want to get off of it, though I kind of live on Facebook, I have to just kind of admit, is you can go, oh, you're so sweet, sweetheart. You can go to the angel encourager and at gmail.com and contact with in contact with me too. So, well, I, yeah, I get that, but you know, I kind of live on it because that's where everybody I know, I don't know, because I do a lot of social work and stuff like that. I, I deal with a lot of people. And to me, it's just the easiest way to connect because uh, emails tend to overwhelm me because you get so much spam and stuff like that. I know we do live on Facebook, don't we? But, you know, thank goodness for it. So I've gotten to where I've gotten pretty good at skimming through. I can skim through it faster on my Facebook than I can on my, on my email. So when I have to go check my email, I'm like, ah! <laughs> but I still do it. Uh, but anyway, so uh, I would absolutely love for anybody that is on Facebook, you know, if you if you would uh, join my newsletter at uh, uh, at the Angel Encourager. Now, if you want to join my newsletter and you're not on, if you're not on um, Facebook, you can also just let me know. Try to on Facebook, but it wasn't helpful. Yeah, you know, some some of those are interactive, some of them aren't. Sweetheart, if you would contact me on, you know, however however you will do it uh, through my Gmail at the Angel Encourager or facebook.com, you know, the Angel Encourager, however you want to. Uh, honestly, contact me and we'll, and we'll, you know, we'll work on that because I don't want to keep you in a, I don't, we're, we're not going to let you stay in a state of depression, sweetheart. You are a beautiful, magnificent being. You are a part of all that is. You know, you're a part of me, I'm a part of you, and if you're feeling depressed, I, I think it'll work because I ain't going to live in depression anymore and I ain't going to let you stay there either. You have a beautiful, amazing life to live right here in your now, and you cannot fully express it and be joyful and live it in a state of depression. And that's not coming from a point of judgment for me. It's coming from a point of, I want to see you just blossom and become, yes, yes, the new lotus flower. I want to see you open up and blossom and show and shine your light out there to the world. You know what I mean? Kind of like I think I kind of do out there. Yeah, so I love it. I absolutely want I'm so excited. I love connecting and helping people. And it's just, it's a true, oh, sweetheart, please contact me. Because, you know, there's so much to live for. Now, if, you know, to me, actually, you know, you're part of all that is. So when you do transition, you, know, you go back into all that is. So our corporal bodies are just ex mere, mere slight extensions of ourselves. But there's so much beauty here in this world. I know there was a time when I wanted to die. And the only thing that kept me alive was my daughter. Because I knew that if I took, my, took myself out, it would probably be her that would find me. And I couldn't live with that. So... In every moment, I just found, I kept, I kept, always had a knowing that there was something I was going to miss out on. You know, and this was in my, well, really my 20s, 30s, actually my whole life, I kind of, you know, all the way up till in my 40s, you know, I, I thought about, you know, taking myself out. And then, you know, now it's like, there's just too much fun stuff around. You know what I mean? It's just like, there's too many new things to experience. There's too many new people to meet. There's too many places to go. Right. Yeah. And so I, I know my daughter's what is what kept me saying, I mean, that I, I, I'm writing a book right now, and part of my dedication is, you know, to my daughter, who, who never, who never, ever was the one person who never gave up on me, so I credit my daughter and spirit with, you know, keeping me alive, allowing me to do this work, and being out there, and being joyful, and, you know, and so, amazing kid, and amazing, you know, just the spirit's amazing, and I think all of you are amazing, and Lotus, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna do this thing, we're gonna rock it, <laughs> oh, I know, I know, it's gonna be, how old is she, my daughter is 25, uh, she just graduated from college, and she now has started her new career, and she is getting married next year, and so she just is rocking it, she's absolutely rocking it, it's really funny, because she is like, that's right, yeah, she is like I was probably when I was in my mid-30s. So I keep telling her, I keep saying, wait till you're about in your in your late 30s or, or no, probably the early 30s. I said, you're going to be really spiritual. It's going to happen because I mean, she is so me. It's so funny. She's been so me her whole life, but at a more advanced age you know, than her age than I was at mine. So it's like, you're just hanging on. This is what's coming. I keep warning her. <laughs> It's coming to her. So, um, does anybody have any questions? Would anybody like maybe a, um, yes. <laughs> does anybody have like maybe a, do want, want me to do a card reading for them or anything like that tonight? I've got a few more minutes uh, before I really need to kind of go do some other things. I would love to, you know, help somebody with something. Uh, okay, would you give me a subject or a topic that I could do it for you on? And I would be more than happy to. So, Inventress, Fairy, and then Lotus. Don't let me forget. 
So, Inventress, would you tell me a topic or a subject that you would like me to do a card reading for you? Finances, okay? Absolutely. Let's give me a moment here. I get in tune. I'm feeling a four card reading for you. So, Inventress, this is going to be on finances for you, my darling. I am so appreciative of everybody connecting with me tonight. And I'm knowing that everybody is well. I'm sending out great love and joy to everybody this evening. And I'm so excited. I can't wait, can't wait to see the messages that you get tonight. Hmm. And I'm feeling some... I'm feeling some anxiety coming up right now in Ventress. I'm, I'm feeling that you're really feeling, you know, kind of anxious and like sort of there's something that you really want to do, but you're really kind of struggling with just the day-to-day, -day, but there's so much more you feel called to do. Let's see what the cards are telling what the angels are telling you. Hmm, okay. Well, your very first card is the, uh, is the Hello from Heaven. So what this is letting you know is that you are surrounded right now by all, by all kinds of energies, uh, loving energies that are helping you. And is, is there is there perhaps a a female energy that might have that might have transitioned? Um, is there a female energy that might have transitioned that that you might feel is close to you? It feels almost like maybe a grandmother energy or something like that, perhaps. But they're really letting me know that there's some type of energy, and it feels like a motherly energy to me. Um, that, that is surrounding you right now. That's 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 holding you in the light. It's really. I want you to. What 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 the cool thing is is that you know they're very interested in what you're doing, and they want to give you ideas and inspirations because they can live your grandma. Okay, and they they want to be there with you. They want to you know they want to help you live life. They want to kind of live life through you. You know they want to help you. They want to give you inspirations. And the cool thing is, you know, in their state of being that they're on now, they have that universal mindset. They can see things that you can't even see. They can conceive of things that you would never even think of. So when you get those inspirations, and perhaps it's inspirations that make no sense, you know, perhaps it's inspirations that you don't think have anything to do with what you want to accomplish, you know, just take that inspired action. Just go for it. Do it. Just be like, okay, let's just give this a shot, see what happens, with really no expectation of what the outcome is, because you never know if it might be taking you somewhere just to meet the right person who you may not actually hear from for another six months, or, you know, there's, there's no way to, you know, it, spirit works the way spirit does. So there's no, like, written book of how it works. You just take that inspired action and have the faith. And faith is knowing without seeing. That's what faith is. So that means that there's no evidence around you by man that tells you it's true. It's just that knowing it's true and that proclaiming it's true. And that's what the, you know, if you read the Bible, that's what it's all full of. It's like stepping out of that faith and having that faith. And that's the that's the engine that drives spirit. That's what makes that's what that's what really spirit just loves that. They're like, yeah, have the faith because you are a powerful manifester. You are here to call forth what you desire. It's about you having that faith and that expectation and you spending more time in the solution rather than the problem. Because that's what a lot of us most that's what most of us do is we spend more time in the problem than the solution. We spend more time wrapping our brains around what the problem is than wrapping our brains around the possibility of us having a solution. So the second I, the second one is the nurture card. This is so much about you taking care of yourself taking care of those that are surrounding you because I have a feeling that you're probably you're you're probably really um you're, you're you're thinking that it's all up to you and that you're and you're really you're not taking proper self-care and you're not you're not giving yourself all the things that you need I don't know if that might have to do with diet or exercise or sleep or anything like that but it's so much about you're in your best state you know, when you take care of this beautiful body, you have a beautiful body system that you've been gifted with. Think of the gorgeous body that you've you've been gifted with that, that's here to, to provide you with everything you need and take you and propel you into the next. And if you don't take care of that body system, you don't take care of the mind, you don't feed it good thoughts, you don't feed your body good good food, you don't take care and give yourself plenty of rest. And, you know, I, I get from you that you would feel guilty if you took the time to nurture yourself. But that's, oh, I love it. Go have a spa treatment. Absolutely. Take care of yourself, girl. And that's when you're going to be in that best state. It's so funny because I was doing an interview with a, with a girl, a woman, sorry, a woman the other day. And she was wanting to start a new business. And every time, every time she had a breakthrough with her business, 
she was doing something that she really couldn't afford to do, like getting her hair done, getting her nails done. Get, you know, she was, uh, she was, uh, um, she was getting, doing tanning. She was doing all these things. You know, she was a mom and she didn't have much money. But every time she would like be at the hair hairdresser, she would meet the right person. You know what I mean? It was like <laughs> every time she was doing something she really shouldn't have been spending money she didn't have was when she'd have a turnaround in her business. So it was when she was nurturing herself. It was when she was taking care of herself that the universe gifted her back with that same thing. So that's what I want to say to you. Don't be thinking of it about how you're stealing from part A and putting into part B, but think about how you're feeding yourself. And it's from yourself that everything is through you that everything comes. Everything comes through you. So you have to take care of you first. So that's what I want you to do. Because they always tell you, put your put the mat, oxygen mask on yourself first before you even put it on your child to make sure that you're the one wearing the life vest, you know, before the, the boat goes down. So you take care, take care of you. Take care of you, boo. The next one, I'm excited about this for you, is the brilliant idea card. So you have something. You have something. And I, aren't we, is this Vivian? Is this, is this, is that who this is? Because we talked the other day. So this is the, the brilliant idea card about that you, you have. Yeah, okay. That's what I was thinking. All right. So we've already talked about this. <laughs> and that's, <laughs> oh, so no, okay. All right. I had, I, I, you looked kind of like another lady. But anyway, so you, there is something that you've been thinking about doing that is, you know, I, I don't know what it is, but there's some kind of an idea that you've had about doing, I don't know if it's in business or if I'm getting more of it's about finances or something like that. There's an idea you have really kind of a radical to you thinking idea of doing something a little bit different and, and just, you know, resonant, getting into that, that parasympathetic system where you're like in that total relaxed state and then start asking yourself what, what you want to do is you want to say, if I did this, how would I feel? And then see how your body reacts. If I did this, how would I feel? And again, go for the one that gives you the excitement. Go for the one that gives you the tingles, you know, or, or however it is that you know that you're connected. And that's your body because we have these amazing systems that will tell us yes or no. I'm going to tell you how my system works. Now, my people's works different. If ego is, is trying to like, you know, bash me over the head, it's a pain right here in my forehead. If spirit's saying no, it's a pain in my gut. If spirit's saying yes, I get shivers on my shoulders. Now that's going to be different for every person. So what it is you want to learn, you want to learn your body, mind, spirit system. Where do my signs come from? What is, you know, how to, so take each of those ideas you have and ponder them. And how would I feel if I did this? How would that make me feel? Don't be like trying to project the outcome of it, but just like, how would I feel if I did this? If I went for this and then go with that one. So the last card for you is the angel therapy card. It's another card letting you know that right now you are being surrounded by higher angelic powers. You're being surrounded by high energies, by loving energies that are there to support you, to make you feel better, and to know that everything is well. So I, I hope that was, that we didn't really, we didn't really directly talk about your finances, but this is what spirit wants you to know for your finances. Because so often what we're worried about, you've been calling on your angels. Okay, so make sure what you do because this is the way prayer works. The first time you ask, once you asked, the next thing that you do is you proclaim. Because, you know, when you go to a restaurant and you order a meal, you order it one time. And then you know it's coming. So uh, I've done, been doing, you know, for my webinar series that's been coming up, you know, uh, a friend of mine told me to do this. He said, call upon Archangel Michael and repeat for, you know, ten times, three times a day, proclaim what it is that you want. And that's what I've been doing, and my webinar is almost full. I've got four slots left. If anybody's interested, it's my Finding Your Personal Paradise. You can find out about it at my Facebook page on The Angel Encourager. Um, the first webinar is this Thursday at 7 p.m. Central Time. Uh, you can also, you can go there. I know, so I'm so excited. Like, I got another sign up tonight, and I was like, oh, I don't even know this person. It was so exciting. It was like, oh my gosh, these people are signing up with my webinar. They don't even, I don't even know who they are. I'm so excited. I cannot wait. So, and, and, but it's, it's about, it's about proclaiming. I've asked, and now I'm proclaiming. And that's where the power comes in. Because it was a real point of faith for me, because I didn't decide to do the webinar till last Sunday. And then I was going to do the I was going to do the webinar starting this Thursday, and is like, is that really enough time? And it's like, that's what I was intuited to do. I will have the right mix of people in there on Thursday, so I'm just not worried about it. Because, but man would have told me you need to give it at least two weeks of promotion. But you know, spirit was like, let's do this. And guess which one I listened to. <laughs> so, inventors, I hope that was great for you. 
Uh, so we had two other people. I think Ferry, Ferry, were you were you the next one uh, to? Uh, hang on one second for me. Let me. Sorry about that, uh, Ferry. Would you were you the next one that wanted a reading? Aww. Oh, great. Yeah, I was just talking about how ladies love it when men wear pink. <laughs> partners. You want to know about partners. Okay, we'll do that. Okay. And I won't have much time, but I know I know there's you, Fairy Cake, and there was one other person... I'll get y'all's readings and then I kind of get off, got to get off here because I've got somebody waiting for me to. I've got a client, <laughs> but y'all are important because I promised you. So let's do one of partners for you, uh, Fairy Cake. Let's see what we've got for you. I'm hearing for you. Um, I'm hearing for you a past, present, future pool. Interesting. Okay. Let's see what we got. Okay. Pass card. Okay, so now this card doesn't mean what it says to me, you know, so don't be freaking out when you see it. All right, this is the, the Indigo and, and Crystal Children card. What this really is telling me, uh, this is what Archangel Metatron is telling me. He's telling me that, that you, have, you, have, so you have walked into a lot of your uh, relationships in sort of like a naive, sort of like a childlike wonderment sort of, and, and you're really kind of judging that, that you, you feel like you've really kind of been taken over. You've really been kind of put one over on, like, like the people have been taking advantage of you. Is that true kind of from your past? Is that where you've been uh, feeling like people have, have sort of taken advantage of you in the past uh, up to this point? Um, I, it's, it's great to come into things, you know, from that childlike wonder, but it's also great to, you know, really know, you know, take your past experiences and, and to, you know, be able to evaluate, you know, how you take action based on based on what's happened okay that's that's kind of the feeling I'm getting for you um, I get the crystal clear intentions that is your as your current so I really get for you that you're you're starting to really decide what it is you do and you don't want in a relationship is that true you're starting to really get some clear-cut ideas of this is what I want uh, from this point forward and it's very powerful that's very important for you at this point to know exactly what it is you want you know take those past experiences that you've had say I like this but I don't like this and start to really you know go start to listen to your gut of like if this person reminds you of something that person did you didn't like take that as a sign you just ended a three-year relationship yesterday okay so I, I very much get for you that now that, that that was really a point of clarity for you as far as you really really are setting out exactly what you want uh, I also want to make sure that you know that you want to make sure that you are in a good space for yourself. It's very important for you to learn uh, to love yourself. I know that I I got uh, had I broke up with somebody I was you know kind of just crazy about, and I really stepped out of it. But the more I remind me that I love me, the more I'm able to step into that space and love other people and not need them. So you don't want to come into to a new space as needy. You know, try not to go into the like the sort of the rebound state, but I understand if you you know you need somebody. So yes, crystal clear intentions of what it is that you want in a relationship. You know, may even make a list. Uh, I spoke to someone the other day. Her list had a hundred hundred things on it, and the, and the mate that she found had ninety nine of the hundred. So that was pretty good, and they've got an amazing relationship. Uh, the next one is the clear cognizance card. So this is your actually your future card. So it's very much about you staying in tune, about you under you you really. Uh, listening to the signs that, that you're and that are coming through your body, mind, spirit system, about not really, you know, not saying, okay, this person, um, you know, it m matches, you know, who people say is perfect for me, but do I get the good gut feeling from them? You know, do they make me feel good? Do do, do they remind me of something I enjoy, or do they remind me of something I'm like, eh, I don't know. So it's about really in the future, really listening to. You know that those signs that that you're getting all the time. So does that does that help you, sweetheart? Does that help you, Miss Fairy Cake? I sure hope it does. So I'm so proud that you are that you've made that. It sounds like you've made a quality decision as far as you know, ending a relationship, um, and that you now can make those crystal clear intentions of what you want, and really listen to those signs. You know to bring you because because okay good because spirit does want you to be happy. Spirit knows that it's joyful for you to be. 
you know, matched in a relationship where, where you both feel, you know, at power and you both feel in control of your own selves. And that's what they want. Good. I'm so proud. I'm so glad. Okay. And Miss Lotus, you, would you tell me the topic or the subject that you would like a reading on, darling? And we will take care of that for you. Topic or subject from, uh, I believe it was Lotus. You still with us? I thought to finding a relationship. Finding a relationship. Okay. All righty. We're all about relationships and finances tonight, which is the big topics. Usually it's that or health. You know, those are the big topics on the other. So absolutely, we will see what we've got. Now, for sure, if you're in a state of depression, you, you really want to get into a state of self-love and joy. But we will see what we what we got for you. And I'm, I'm feeling for you a four-card pool, alone for over three years. Well, you're never always really alone. We're going we're gonna to hook up, girl. You need to email me. You need to connect me on Facebook. We're going to work on that because you really haven't been alone. It's just that you've been in a state of depression, so you feel like you've been alone. You feel like you've been cut off, but you really are so surrounded by such loving energies all the time that you cannot even imagine so we're gonna we're gonna work on that <laughs> i love it because we're not gonna keep you there girl we're not gonna keep you there because you are an amazing wonderful being as all of you are so let's see what we got for you mm. 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 all right <laughs> so this is with finding a relationship your very first card is the nurture card so we've seen this one before we were talking about you know finances actually with the with the other lady this is so much about you taking care of you, boo. This is about you, you know, you taking care of you and, and making yourself the most important person in your life. You know, no one else is going to treat you any better than you treat yourself. You know, and you want to be treated well. You don't want to get into an abusive relationship or one where somebody doesn't really take care of you. So you so want to take care of yourself and that trains other people how to take care of you. People can take care of you and people treat you the way you treat yourself. So number one is about you taking care of yourself, nurturing yourself, doing those little things that pamper you and make you feel good. You know, realize that you are the point of power. You are the beginning of your path. You are the most important aspect of your life. You are your perspective of everything. So it all begins with you. You cannot give to somebody else what you don't give to you. So you've got to give it to you first, okay? That's your first message. The second one is the peace message. So this is just about you just... Again, relaxing. <laughs> See, <laughs> I love the fairy cake love spa treatments. That's amazing. That's right. So the next one is the peace card about you just coming into that peace. It's from Archangel Shamuel. Archangel Shamuel really helps us with shame and grief. So uh, there's, there's some some aspects of that. And if you contact me, uh, there's not much peace in my house. It's about you proclaiming that peace and you you taking and accepting that peace for yourself. You know, if you're in a house of not much peace. Your daughter's autistic. Okay, so it's about you know um, just find ask Archangel Samuel. You know, so many times the the, uh, the situations that we think are are untenable or impossible with man are more than possible with spirit. There's some way you know for that to be you know to work to to where you you can find joy in that state. You know, anything is possible with spirit. Absolutely anything. So I want you to to not you know feel like it's not. So your next card is from you know what to do. So this is just telling you that you know you are you are taking care of your daughter and it's time for you to take care of yourself. Just do the very best you know job that you can, taking care of yourself, loving yourself, loving those that you're around and just relaxing in that. Learn how to fully embody yourself in the joy of the life that you have now. Make it the very best that you can and know that as as you learn how to treat yourself, the universe and the world is going to is going to be trained through that of how to treat you and you're going to see things you're know, starting to change so it's all about how you treat you and they're saying you know what to do so you know what to do to facilitate yourself in that I'm just feeling you know that it's time to they're showing me like a fresh coat of paint it's time for you to just do those things that make you happy I almost feel like you're kind of waiting you're kind of waiting for somebody else to step in before you do those things that you know to do but it's about you doing what nurtures you so if you're thinking, uh, they're showing me like, and this can just be symbolic, they're showing me you painting your bedroom pink, and you're thinking, I shouldn't paint it pink because a guy's not going to like pink paint, but if you like pink paint, paint your bedroom pink. You do what it is for you that makes your space, makes your home, makes yourself feel taken care of and feel loved and feel worthy. You do what, it, yeah, uh, is it? <laughs> so you do what, you do what it is that, that takes care of you. 
And once you once you train the universe and once you train the world how to take care of you, that's what you're going to start saying. And the last card for you is the Hello from Heaven card. So this is just letting you know that you are surrounded by loving energies that are around you right now at this point. You know, giving you loving guidance and loving you and surrounding you. And it, when, it's when you're in a state of great asking that you are surrounded by more loving energy than you, you can ever know. But you can't feel it until you step into the vibration of joy. Because like the, this whole periscope was about, you know, how the secret magic of the secret power of joy. That's the secret power is that that's when you step into the clarity and the knowing from universal mindset. That's when you get that those intuitions and that and and just that knowing and that guidance you know that's that's the only vibration that they that they exist in and that's the only one that they communicate in so that's why you're feeling lonely it's because you're not in that state of joy so you've really kind of blocked yourself off because you're keeping yourself here in this headspace you know we really don't have that human you don't really have that spiritual connection you know with all that is so it's about you know you just realizing that you're surrounded get excited about how much energy because because I see it right now I see it all swarmed around you because when you're in a state of great asking that's when you're surrounded by more loving energy than you ever can be at any other time because you're in a great you know you're asking for it and it's going to be coming but you have to step into that joy to actually feel yes opening your heart because the heart you know the, the brain actually gets more signals from the heart than the heart gets from the brain so it's really all about the heart girl it's about the heart it's about opening that heart and and starting to uh, nurture that heart and take care of it and you know in more ways than one and just you know realizing that you are a beautiful being so I want you to contact me if you're on I don't know which if you said you're on Facebook or not if you're on Facebook contact me at uh, the angel encourager uh, let's get you on the uh, let's get you on the newsletter uh, talk to me a couple times let's see what we can do I've got some videos I can send you that will help you to uh, release and learn how to start loving yourself more because like I say, it's it's how you treat yourself, it's, it's how you train the universe and the entire world to treat you. So darlings, I have a client. Oh, you're it's, you're so very welcome. And I would love for everybody to connect with me um, and just, you know, allow me to, I, I love to connect with spirit for, for people. That's just, it, it, that's why I feel the luckiest, wealthiest man in the entire world because I get to do this uh, for you awesome people. I want you to know how much I love you. And more than that, I want you to know the amazing love that comes from the angelic and the heavenly realm for you. It's more than I could ever express, ever, ever express in mere words. You are so loved right here at this moment and in every moment. You are so amazingly loved. And thank you for letting me feel that for you. And thank you for allowing me to express it to you. That is why I'm the luckiest, wealthiest man in the entire world. <laughs> Alrighty, my darlings. So check me out on Facebook.com at the Angel Encourager, or if you're not on Facebook, go ahead and message me at the Angel Encourager at gmail.com. I will absolutely get back with you, and I love you. Love, peace, release. Mm -hmm.